into Watson's Lunchtime Models. So, yeah, I got bored. I think, well, lunchtime, I'm going to get in here and mess with this thing and work on it. I've had this kit for a lot of years before I had the the uh, 16th scale Leopard, the RC version that I have. And, in fact, I'll, uh, I'll attach a link in the description of the video of where you can get the... Um, get the RC tank. It is freaking awesome, man. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so yeah, I started this guy a bunch of years ago, and you can see I have the green, the squadron green putty on there, and then, you know, I had to pack up because we were moving. This thing ended up in a box full of other miscellaneous parts, uh, along with the arms and the head, and I lost it forever. And I had the kit, and I'm looking in the kit. I'm like, well, I only have a half, a half a dude in here. What the hell? So I just found him um, as I was cleaning. And there's a little bit of leg damage here. I don't know what, what got on there, but a chemical or something. But we'll patch that up. So anyways, it is what it is. So now I got all my guys and pieces, parts, and stuff. And got the two halves assembled. <clears throat> the neck, the gator piece goes on, on separate. And... Not going to worry too much about cleaning this area up because you won't see it. All right, the arms, they fit in those bubbles, and this guy's going to sit inside a cupola. So you'll barely see any of this. So he, I'm, I'm not too worried about this guy. This guy here, you're going to see because... So the Squadron Green Putty, I had it caked on there. Nice sharp blade. Okay, there's a little spot right there. You're able to carefully scrape away uh, any of the excess. So that stuff is holding up really good after all these years. In fact, I, I know those tubes are dried up and, and in the garbage somewhere. But nice smooth finish. And we'll, we'll take some smooth sandpaper to it and just touch that up a little bit and get this guy ready for paint. Now, I normally don't do the you know, paint the guy in, in black primer and then mist him from the top uh, with white to expose the highlights. I think I'm going to do it for this this particular one. Because uh, I'm going to take my time. Uh, the head goes together pretty well. It's just the two, the front and the back half, and you got the two ear pieces on there for the headsets. And the arms, I'm just now starting to work on the arms. And getting them cleaned up so you can use the file if you want but that takes too damn long okay just get your get your knife and scrape away those seams it's not rocket science now be careful some some models the guy's uniform might actually have a seam <laughs> that goes up there so you don't want to you don't want to uh scrape off what's supposed to be there but in this particular case this is not that's not the case here if anything this seems going to be on the inside which you won't see anyways so but the molds aren't too bad they're cleaning up fairly nice Take a look at your fingertips. Um, this one is okay because the, the mold line goes right along the edge. This one, not so much because the mold goes across the, the first knuckle. So you'll have to be careful when you clean those out. And it is what it is. All right, so I'm going to clean this guy up. I'm going to get him assembled minus the head. And then uh, I'll go ahead and get this guy's arms on too. Minus the head after I get these all cleaned up. Actually, it looks like I already did the arms a while back. So, good.
All right. Part number two is part of... I'm not going to put these boom mics on until after I get the faces done. There's also a... Uh, um, the, uh, the driver gets a set of goggles, too. But these little guys... Oops. These little guys are your intercom connection points. I mean, they could have just molded this into the model without having to do them separately, but whatever. Okay. All right, where's my tweezers at? I need my tweezers! <laughs> Come on now, quit fighting me. Okay, there's one. But you see what I mean right here? This little gap right here. They could have, they could have very easily <laughs> made made this part of the mold. Oh well, whatever. I guess they wanted us to have something to do, right? You won't feel like you're building a model if you're not putting parts together. Although it does add a little bit of a little bit of something something. I'm gonna reinforce these arms a little bit more. A little capillary action. I'm debating whether I'm gonna put a little putty in there. Definitely going to have to fill some of this up in the seams, but not but not much. <clears throat> All right, dude's head will fit in here like such when it's time. Okay, a little more, a little more reinforcement for the arms. And we'll just let that sit. Okay. That's a good 30-minute uh, lunchtime workout. Check us out later for part two when we uh, start doing the paint jobs. Yeah, so that'll be fun. There's a part here that actually, <clears throat> I don't know if it's on the uh, Tamiya version or whatever, but this would mount underneath the commander's hatch. And then your guy would sit on there. You know, something like that. But uh, I'm just going to build up the space that I have there and make it work. <clears throat> like I mentioned, there's some goggles. There are two goggles, thank goodness. Because um, the guy they have on here, <laughs> this dude, he's not, he doesn't have goggles and his forehead looks like it's 10 feet long. And I don't like foreheads. So we're going to put goggles on this dude, but we'll have him cocked back on top of his head like that. <clears throat> but it is a clear part, which is nice. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my... I have different versions of this, but I've got a Vallejo mask that we will paint the clear that I want clear. I'll go ahead and paint the, uh, you know, the rubberized portion and peel that mask off, and they should look perfect. The kit also does come with decals for their uniforms. Okay, so they're little epaulets, uh, markings, and their little Bundeswehr, the German... Uh, flag. So, 
Yeah. How's that for lunchtime follies? The headless Bundeswehr. Yeah. Now get out there and work on something. Even if it's for 10 minutes, man. Just do something.